My last video about the passing of television legend Bob Saget opened my eyes to a raging undercurrent of Hollywood conspiracy, the likes of which I have never seen before. Either that or a lot of you are just batshit crazy. Oh my god. I was shocked by some of the things that came out of your mouths, well, your metaphorical mouths, that you typed into the comments section on YouTube. It jumped up a notch. In my last video, I broke down the mysterious circumstances that surrounded the death of Bob Saget. Adding the 65-year-old likely fell backward and hit his head. And I came to the conclusion that I, I didn't think Bob Saget was murdered. However, you guys disagreed with me. <laughs> so let's break this down and go through your key suspects. Killing is badong. Who murdered Bob Saget. Suspect number one, Kelly Rizzo, Bob Saget's wife. They've been married since 2018 and dated for a few years before that. Is she the one responsible? A lot of you think so. A lot of you believe that she's not only blocking the release of information, but also trying to stop the investigation. Typically, the first suspect in any murder case is gonna be the spouse, the boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. Studies do show that about half of all family murders are committed by the spouse. So if you do think that Bob Saget Saget was murdered. I'm sure that she's your prime suspect. She recalled her last conversation with him in a tearful interview on the Today Show with Hoda Kopp. I think I said, I love you dearly. And he said, I love you endlessly. And then he mm -hmm. said, I said, I can't wait to see you tomorrow. I mean, I guess she could be making that up. Oh, hell no. A few months ago, she was on an episode of uh, Bob Saget's podcast. So I figured, yeah. hey, if Jesse and Joey are doing it. It was like 90 minutes of them talking about how they met and what they loved to do together and how much they love each other. It was actually kind of gross <laughs> when you hear your parents or grandparents like talk about how much they love each other and are attracted to each other. It, there's a, it's like, oh, that's sweet, but it's also a little bit of an ick factor. You know what I mean? And this was the infamous podcast that everybody keeps mentioning in the comments section of where Bob said he would be found dead in bed. I'm going to be found dead in bed. There's been a number of YouTube videos that isolate that one comment and then like slow it down and I'm going to be found dead in bed. make it seem like super sinister. You better watch out. I watched that entire podcast episode. He's joking about his wife liking Goodfellas and Scarface and The Godfather. Uh, Wayne's World, uh, Godfather 2, Goodfellas, Casino, Scarface. So to point to that like it's some smoking gun is so ridiculous. Yes, Bob Saget invited his wife on his podcast to talk about how much they love each other for two hours and uh, he would prophesize his own demise. He's a comedian. He makes jokes and he does that throughout the entire podcast. Cracks sarcastic dad joke comments the entire time we got through a uh, squid ink okay insurance policy i can't find any information on this did bob saget have life insurance and who was the beneficiary if that is the case and he did have a life insurance policy and the beneficiary is the, then okay that could be motivation that wouldn't be the first time that somebody had been murdered for life insurance money i'll kill you i'll kill you location is a problem if you think that she did it she couldn't have done it herself because she, she wasn't there. Another damning piece of evidence is uh, she was wearing a Beastie Boys shirt. If that doesn't scream guilt, then I don't know what does. If you've heard of the Beastie Boys, you're going to prison. Some of you think that I'm just a stooge, that I'm paid by Bob Saget's wife. What do you think she might pay for something like that? Suspect number two. Some of you think that Hillary Clinton was involved. I think you're absolutely correct. So, okay, hear me out. Bob Saget has performed in states that voted for Hillary Clinton in 2016. She's also married to Bill Clinton, who was president of the United States and the Jelly of the Month Club. His VP was Al Gore. And Al Gore allegedly groped a masseuse and was a passionate environmentalist. Bob Saget once tweeted about Earth Day. Need I say more? This house is clear. One commenter asked about the hotel staff. No idea if they hire convicted murderers at the hotel, but I suppose someone who works at the hotel would know the ins and outs and secret passageways and how to get from the conservatory to the billiard room. How are you? Perry Mason. Number four is the vaccine. They don't seem to think that COVID-19 was related to, to him passing. You know, no word on the vaccine though. 
you, you never know. Uh. Number five, Bob Saget having a questionable past um, that he had been up to nefarious activities with drugs and strippers and someone mentioned uh, gambling debt, eyes wide shut party sex cults where they murder you at the end like a praying mantis. Where is this coming from? Moving on to number six, Kevin Spacey. And you know what? We should reach out to him. Let's leave no stone unturned and let's just see what he's got to say about this situation. I showed you exactly what people are capable of. Number, number seven. Some of you think that it wasn't Bob Saget that was actually murdered at all. It was his clone. But how would you know if it was the clone or if it was the original? Two, three. Uh -huh. So that's who you think was involved in the murder of Bob Saget. Now, I'll tell you who I think Carrot Top. He has red hair, he's strong, case closed. Track down Carrot Top, because this case has been blown wide open.